Hey guys, welcome to the new Blanco Cigars Review Station at our new studio. How do you like this location? I'm ah, just messing with you. So um, I came over to Brian's place and um, he gifted me one of the old Blanco 9s that he got from uh, somebody and um, in Torpedo. And I have to say, um, I am uh, very pleased and... Uh, it's amazing the condition that it was kept in, I'll be honest with you. I thought that, you know, after 10 years, anything can happen, especially in a retail location. You know, a shop, it can be forgotten, or they lose power, or who knows, and then it's not humidified, things crack. This thing was kept in very good condition. I mean, I would never know it's the age it is unless I looked at the cellophane. But anyway, I just lit it, and uh, I got to say, I am very pleased that my cigar is held up uh, with proper storage after 10 years um, and to the point where I still have a, a, enough flavor, taste, and aroma. Um, it's come down, obviously, some, but it's not flat, dead, or tastes like cardboard. And guys, sometimes that can happen depending on the cigar that we're talking about. So uh, you never know. And um, I guess this is estimated around 10 years, basically. I guess what Brian was telling me based off the age of the box that the guy was telling him or something. So uh, even if it's nine or nine and a half, whatever. Um, great stick uh, if you can find them out there I'm lucky to have one right now and I wouldn't have gotten this uh, had I not been gifted it so um, stay smoky out there good talking to you guys I hope everything's going well with you up there in the north I know you're getting some cold weather but hang in there it's March 1st so you're getting closer to spring so anyway from the uh, CO headquarters here this is Dave Blanco signing off if you like uh, our videos give us a thumbs up if you haven't um, subscribed already, David A. Blanco YouTube channel. Thanks a lot, guys. Bye-bye.